What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Matt Tuna Turner, and today you get to look at my wonderful mug because I'm coming direct to you, rest in peace, Iwata san, to talk about Super Mario 3D All Stars. I wanted to give my first impressions on this because my first impressions matter on this nifty little package that Nintendo has recently released. And much like its 16-bit predecessor, which I have here somewhere, it is a collection of Mario's best 3D games. <coughs> Mario Galaxy 2, <coughs> Mario Galaxy 2, oh, excuse me. It's not COVID. And in this collection, we have Super Mario 64, Hi. Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. Now, um, I wanted to give my impressions uh, on this collection kind of as a whole, uh, because I've only had it for a week and I haven't had a whole lot of time to dig into each game individually. Um, so this is going to be kind of surface level uh, and it's not going to be like one of my normal reviews. Um, so what is this collection? Well, as I mentioned, it's three of Mario's 3D games, 3D platforming games. Um, and I would like to say that they have been up res or, or or perhaps given some polish I mean they have given some polish but um, they're pretty much the same games that uh, came out in 96 02 and whenever galaxy came out which is uh, I don't know 10 years ago maybe um, uh, and uh, there's also soundtracks for each of those games and that's about it Yeah, um, this was rumored for a long time. It's probably one of uh, gaming's worst kept secrets this year. Um, so it was rumored back in March uh, and it was denied, denied, denied. And then September came around and Nintendo announces it and then releases it a week later. Um, and, you know, I understand that 2020 has been challenging and uh, maybe they weren't able to put a whole lot of effort into the, into the development of this game, or maybe it, all three games just ended up filling the cart along with the soundtracks, which I find a hard time believing, because I think Super Mario 64 and Sunshine are both pretty small. Um, but I kind of wanted a little bit more out of this collection. Uh, like you look at like the Street Fighter Anniversary Collection or the SNK 40th Anniversary Collection or the the two Mega Man Legacy Collections on the Switch, and they just they have more stuff. Like it's cool to play these games. Don't get me wrong. Uh, diving into Super Mario 64 was amazing. Um, muscle memory took over. I kind of felt like uh, like I I never forgotten what was going on is it it's like unlock something in the back of my brain almost but um you kind of want a collection like this to have some like behind the scenes or development art from back in the day something like this is supposed to celebrate mario's 35th anniversary and all they did was put three games in it with their soundtracks and kind of slap on a new coat of paint like Mario 64, uh, it's, it doesn't look as polygonal as it did in 96, but you know, it still doesn't look great. Um, it still looks like it did in the original, which is fine. Um, but like when you play it, it's still in the original 4-3 aspect ratio. And you'd think that at the very least, maybe you could put some border art so it's not just black bars on the sides. And maybe you can have some border art uh, that's customizable. Um, you know, and maybe some other modern accoutrement, uh, like rewind function or save states, something like that. Um, that's not the case with this collection. And it's kind of sad. Um, yeah. Because, um, you know, other companies, they just they put so much time and effort and, and there's all these extras and unlockables and there just isn't in this game. And then, like, the real kicker 
is that it's only available for a limited time. So like, they announced it, it was released September 18th of 2020, and then at the end of March 2021, it's gone. Uh, and I can understand pulling physical releases from a store shelf, but you're gonna pull the digital copy from the eShop? Kind of a dick move. Um, but I, I guess they're gonna go the Disney route. I, I don't know. Um, I did get a chance to uh, play a little bit of each game. Um, not a really deep dive. I, I played to uh, the first boss in 64 and Sunshine, and then I finished the first two domes in Galaxy. Um, so, I mean, Mario 64, as I said earlier, just jumping into it, 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 it was like I'd never forgotten where anything was. It just, it was, there's so much nostalgia. And um, I mean, it was already a pretty perfect game, even in his day. Um, there's some camera issues. I mean, it's, it's from 96, right? It's 24 years old now. There are some camera issues, and it was like the first 3D platformer, but um, those ones, it's pretty easy to get past that. Um, I play on a Pro Controller, so, uh, and in the original game, you used the C buttons on the N64 controller to move the camera, and with the Pro Controller, you use the right stick. Um, it doesn't move fluidly, like, um, say Call of Duty or a modern 3D shooter would. Uh, instead, I find that actually flicking the stick um, works better for moving the camera as opposed to trying to do it fluidly. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's still it's still a good game, still a good game. And um, and then I jumped into Sunshine. Uh, I actually just recently replayed Sunshine for the GameCube. Um, it's not the best game to begin with. Uh, it was it was kind of broken. Uh, and just playing through the first, uh, I don't know, 45 minutes of the game, this time, still the same gripes. Um, the controls still suck, uh, they're inverted, and there's no way to change them. The GameCube controller had analog triggers on it, which allowed you to more accurately control how you wanted, how much water you wanted to shoot out of your little backpack. Um, the Switch and the Pro Controller do not have analog control, uh, do not have analog triggers. So, uh, they have decided to fix that with a button press. Um, if you want to just shoot water without standing, uh, in the original game, uh, if you held the trigger all the way down, Mario would stand and shoot water. If you just pressed it a little, a little water would come out, but you could still move around and, and it would vary depending on how much pressure you put on the trigger now. Uh, you just put, uh, they put, um, I think it's the right bumper was to stand and spray and then the right trigger was to just move and shoot uh, normally. So they kind of got rid of that and it kind of works. I mean, there's more buttons on these controllers now than there was in the GameCube day or even the Wii days. So like that works all right. There's no customization in this package anywhere. And you'd think that after 35 years, I mean, Mario 64 is 24 years old, but still, you know, there'd be some sort of customization. And I honestly, I hope it's something that they patch in later. Um, the controls still suck. It still looks beautiful though. Um, it looks very good uh, for an old game, for a 12 year old game. Um, it, Outside of Galaxy, actually, it might look the best of the three in this package, just because when it originally released, it was so bright and colorful and, 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 and I, I want to say fun, but it wasn't the most enjoyable game. Uh, and then, of course, Galaxy, uh, the most recent game, is uh, on the Wii. And uh, I played through this with a Pro Controller and uh, also with detached Joy-Cons. So because this was originally a Wii game, obviously there's waggle controls. I wasn't, uh, at the time, you know, I was all in on motion. I thought it was awesome and it was done quite well originally. But uh, I don't really care for that anymore. I'm a little older now and I'm lazier. 
and I don't really want to waggle when I play my games. So I, I played first with the Pro Controller, I played through the first dome with the Pro Controller, and the motion works okay. It's kind of weird how they do it. Uh, my Pro Controller is too far away. Um, but uh, you control Mario like you would normally, um, and then for uh, pointing or collecting star bits, you actually like move the controller around as you're holding it and the cursor moves on the screen and if you want to recenter the cursor you you push the R button so I found myself spamming uh, the right bumper a lot uh, just to recenter the um, the cursor um, and then for things like uh, doing the monkey ball thing with the, on the ball or uh, riding the manta ray again it's it, you move the controller around and then i also tried it with detached joy cons uh, this felt more like the original wii game did uh, you are able to point and stuff much like you did with the wii only there's no sensor bar um, there's obviously you know technology has changed a lot uh, in the years since the wii has been released and um, so you're able to just kind of um, move casually uh, with the with your right Joy-Con. Uh, again, uh, if you spam the right bumper, it recenters the cursor, which uh, you'll still find yourself doing a lot, even with the detached Joy-Con option. Uh, if you're using the Pro Controller, they actually, um, instead of shaking the controller to do the spin, which you can do with the detached Joy-Con, you can shake it to spin, uh, they've uh, map that to a button for X. So you just push the X button and you do the, the spin um, instead of having to like shake your pro controller, which would be kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, I mean, it's it's three Mario games. I mean, how can you go wrong? I just, I feel kind of cheaped out by it. This is a full price game and yes you know if you were to purchase all three individually and then adjust for inflation whatever blah 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 uh just for th three games and their soundtracks uh, and like they got small coat of polish i don't think this should be full price uh especially without any extras like uh, listening to the soundtracks is cool you know you can put it on while you're doing housework or stuff but you know, this is supposed to celebrate 35 years of Mario. Why, why isn't there any like cool unreleased artwork or, you know, maybe even a developer interview, just like some extra, something extra in the package to make you go, wow, this is awesome. Um, I mean, I bought it, right? Uh, you know, and then Nintendo knows that they know you're going to buy it. Then it's Mario. I mean, how are you not? Um, but I don't know. If if I had to grade the entire package, I'd probably give it like a seven, seven out of ten, maybe. Um, Mario 64 uh, alone is probably worth the price of entry. In Canada, this is ninety dollars. I think it's seventy in the US or sixty-five or something like that. Um, so it's it's not a cheap game by any stretch of the imagination. Um, Mario 64 is is worth it, um, although you know I would, I'd rather just pay twenty dollars for Super Mario 64 to be honest, rather than uh, also Sunshine and Galaxy. Um, Mario Galaxy it's fun, uh, it looks good. Same with Sunshine. Sunshine is a very pretty game, anyways. Um, but it's just it's just it's so bare bones, um, and I, I'm I'm hoping that it's because of COVID. Um, and that's why their fall slate is so thin, especially on the first party side. Um, it just things had to get pushed back and, and they just couldn't, they couldn't dedicate enough development time to the package. Um, I'm hoping that's the case um, because next year is the 35th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda. And if they're going to do like a Zelda All-Stars or uh, some sort of Zelda package like this and, you know, and it's this bare bones, I'm going to be kind of disappointed. I'm going to buy it, of course, uh, begrudgingly. I'm going to be lined up at my store or sitting at my computer going, hey, 
take Nintendo and, and, and take my money. But yeah. Anyways, that's Super Mario 3D All Stars. I am going to dig into each game. I am going. I am currently playing Super Mario 64. I'm probably about halfway through that, um, and then I will play Sunshine. Um, as I mentioned, I have uh, already played through the original Sunshine on GameCube, so I'll do a comparison video, and and um, and then when I get finished Galaxy, I'll do reviews for all three, of course. Um, so yeah, Super Mario 3D All Stars, about a seven out of ten. Uh, great games, at least two of them are. Uh, the soundtracks are cool. Yep, uh, just very, very bare bones collection. I, I, I really wanted a little bit more, and then getting rid of it on March 31st. What's up with that? Anyways, hope you enjoyed this. If uh, you like the content I'm producing, please do hit that subscribe button and mash the bell for notifications so you know when I release more videos. I will put a link in the description below to my Super Mario Sunshine review in case you wanted to see that. And until next time, I'll see you later.